good morning students so today we are going to talk about bypass surgery uh, scientifically it is known as cabg that is coronary artery bypass surgery which involves creating new arteries to provide blood flow to the heart by using other blood vessels as conduits to pass bypass the obstruction in the patient's coronary arteries so basically what happens that if in heart the artery is affected due to any accumulation of um, plaque or uh, due to any accumulation of uh, any kind of fibrosis or thrombosis so at that period of time uh, the heart won't be able to get the sufficient amount of blood so in that case we need to bypass the artery uh, so that the blood will reach to that particular direction and it will help in treating uh, it will help in supplying the blood to that part so um, uh, in most of the cases the surgeon construct at least one of the bypasses by using an artery which is called as internal mammary artery that is located behind the breastbone or the sternum and other bypass may be um, you can say that constructed by using the vein from the leg which is also called as saphenous vein or an or an artery from the forearm which is called as radial artery so in almost all the cases the operation requires an incision in the midline of the chest which is called as sternotomy so you can see from the image that how it has been done that how the arteries has been attached uh, with the vein graft so that the blood will supply to that particular part where which was which has become dead due to the improper supply of the blood then um, during most bypass operation the heart is stopped and is connected to a heart lung machine that does not work of both the heart and the lungs which is also called as cardio pulmonary bypass if the surgeon is going to uh, assess Uh, the operation could be done without the heart lung machine the surgery may be performed while the heart continues to beep which is called as off pump cabg so not all the patient are suitable for off pump surgery however an off pump surgery still requires the sternotomy where we need to operate the chest now question comes at which patients need cabg so many patient with coronary artery disease will require more aggressive therapy other than medication and lifestyle modification because that depends totally on what kind of plaque or what kind of uh, uh, you can say that uh, fibrosis has been formed and which part of the body is affected which part of the heart is affected uh, so uh, the bypass surgery is decided on the basis of the, that factors only and not every coronary artery disease can be treated with medication or lifestyle modification so for patient who have severe chest pain like angina or severe obstruction of the coronary arteries so further treatment may involve either enlargement of the coronary artery we can enlarge it by balloon dilation uh, Uh, also termed as percutaneous transluminal coronary angiography or bypass surgery the uh, location the extent and the number of obstruction in the arteries often dictate what is the most appropriate treatment of any particular individual patient who have undergone ptca in the past may need bypass surgery in the future if their coronary diseases progresses or uh, have certain kind of complications but patients who have no symptoms but have evidence of impaired blood supply to the heart muscle like ischemia or poor function of the pumping chamber of the heart left ventricle may require surgery to improve the heart function and prolong survival so uh, here is a short video which will help us in understanding the different types of uh, coronary uh, the cabg A coronary artery bypass graft or cabbage is performed to improve circulation to the heart muscle in people with severe coronary artery disease. In this procedure, a healthy artery or vein from another part of the body is connected or grafted to the blocked coronary artery. The grafted artery or vein bypasses the blocked portion of the coronary artery, carrying oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. One or more coronary arteries may be bypassed during a single operation. Before the surgery, an intravenous line will be started, and you may be given a medication to help you relax. Cabbage procedures are done under general anesthesia, which will put you to sleep for the duration of the operation. A breathing tube will be inserted through your mouth and into your throat to help you breathe. A catheter will be placed in your bladder to drain your urine. Coronary artery bypass surgery 
generally takes three to six hours. During a conventional bypass surgery, your surgeon begins by making an incision in the skin over your breastbone or sternum. He or she will then cut the sternum and move your rib cage in order to get to your heart. Throughout the procedure, your circulatory system will be connected to a cardiopulmonary bypass pump or heart-lung machine. This machine temporarily performs the functions of your heart and lungs during the surgery, allowing your heart to be stopped while the surgeon sews the grafts into place. One of two blood vessels is typically used for the grafts, the internal thoracic artery in the chest or the saphenous vein in the leg. For the internal thoracic artery graft, your surgeon will leave the upper end attached to the subclavian artery and divert the lower end from your chest wall to your coronary artery just beyond the blockage. Your surgeon will then sew the graft into place. For the saphenous vein graft, your surgeon will suture one end to the aorta and the other end to the narrowed artery just beyond the blockage. With the graft securely in place, your surgeon will use electrical signals to restore the heartbeat and attach a temporary pacemaker to the heart. Once your heart is again beating normally, the heart-lung machine will be disconnected. Your surgeon will wire the breastbone back together and suture the skin incision closed. A temporary drainage tube will be placed through the skin beneath the incision. Two other types of cabbage procedures have recently been developed, off-pump and minimally invasive bypass surgery. Off-pump cabbage is also called beating heart bypass grafting because the heart isn't stopped and a heart-lung machine isn't used. Instead, a mechanical device is used to steady the part of the heart where grafting is being done. Surgeons perform minimally invasive bypass procedures using specially designed instruments inserted through small incisions or ports in the chest. These procedures sometimes require a heart-lung machine. After surgery, you will be taken to the intensive care unit. The activity of your heart will be carefully monitored. If necessary, the pacing wires will be used to temporarily control your heart rate. The chest tube will remain in place to drain excess blood and air from the chest cavity. Once you can breathe on your own, your breathing tube will be removed and replaced with an oxygen mask. The bladder catheter will remain in place. As you recover over the next three to four days, all of these devices will be gradually removed.